And on to some more, uh, a newer zombie movie is uh, directed by Robert Kurtzman of KMB FX, The Rage, which is based on a comic book series um, that Fangoria had released. Um, very cool movie, actually, uh, featuring Andrew Devoff. Uh, hilariously enough, Mushroom Head makes an appearance, and there's actually a couple of Mushroom Head videos on uh, this DVD also. Very interesting movie, definitely worth your time and money. Great gore, and it's definitely a good zombie B film. And then there's Slime City, uh, directed by Gregory Lambertson. Uh, it's not really a zombie film, per se. I kind of lump it into that category. It's gooey, it's slimy. It features a guy that uh, kind of works like a zombie. Uh, slime, and uh, there's necromancy involved in the storyline, too. Cool green case. Uh, Gregory Lambertson, I've actually talked to him online a couple of times. Super nice guy. Uh, definitely worth... Uh, uh, you know, investing in his films he because they're great and he's a, just a nice guy. Uh, he's actually written a couple of books, including Johnny Gruesome. Uh, there was a short online about Johnny Gruesome also that was uh, that he directed. Uh, in fact, there's actually a sequel to Slime City coming out, Slime City Massacre, which I'm uh, very eagerly awaiting to see. Uh, I don't know how or when I'm going to get to see it, but as soon as it's out on home video, I'm sure I'm going to buy a copy. Going south of the border, uh, this is uh, South American zombie films, uh, and it's a Plague of Zombie and Plague of Zombie Mutant Zone, which uh, the second one's a sequel to the first one, obviously, and it essentially takes place right after the first one. Uh, very funny zombie effects. Again, there's a sphincter zombie in this movie. Uh, the heroes are, are great characters, too, and you're generally interested in finding about what is going to happen to these characters next. Definitely worth checking out if you can find a copy someplace. Corpses Are Forever. Um, not much I can say about this one. Uh, definitely derivative of a lot of other zombie films. Uh, I believe Debbie Roshan's in here, along with Linnea Quigley, uh, Brink Stevens. A lot of great horror icons are in this movie, and, and that makes it worth checking out on its own. Storyline is kind of weird. Uh, the characters are kind of weird. The zombies and gore are just, eh, okay. Uh, but, I mean, as far as being a great, great zombie movie, it's, it's, it's okay. It's just okay. This is a Jess Franco zombie film. Very interesting Jess Franco zombie film. It's called The Virgin Among the Living Dead. This isn't what you think of like oozing, pus-infested zombies. These are more like human-looking zombies, uh, despite the really cool cover artwork. Uh, the cover artwork's amazing, and that's the big thing that drew me into this particular title. Uh, as I've kind of moved on, uh, I've come to respect this title a little more, and just for being different, and it's a quintessential Jess Franco film. Uh, definitely uh, as erotic as his other titles. Uh, just a very strange film for a zombie film. I'm going to say it's worth checking out just because it's so different and so off the wall and I can appreciate it from an artistic aspect rather than just an entertainment aspect. And I already mentioned Nightmare City once. Um, again, this was uh, directed by uh, Umberto Lindsay. And uh, hilariously enough, I just realized that this movie is starring Hugo Stiglitz. Which, if you've all seen *Inglorious Bastards*, uh, you know that's the name of one of the characters in in the film. So that's pretty funny. Uh, *Nightmare Two* is very interesting zombie film. Uh, the zombies look kind of like uh, burnt moles, I guess you could say. Not the best zombie makeup I've ever seen, in my opinion, but it's definitely an interesting zombie film worth checking out at least once. And uh, I've already mentioned *Shockwaves*. The first, one of the, I'm going to say one of the first, if not the first, and classic uh, Nazi zombie film. Uh, very interesting movie. I've already talked about it. I'm going to say this one's definitely worth checking out. True, a chud is a chud. It's a cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. Not necessarily a zombie, but I'm going to say they're very zombie-like. And this is just a classic movie. And worth mentioning, uh, just because it's so strange. I love this movie. This movie's great. 
Uh, I wish that uh, Chud 2, as, as horrible as that movie is, I wish it was easier to get on DVD. I, in fact, don't even know if it's ever been released on DVD. And for good reason. It's a horrible movie, but that's why I like it. It's just so bad it's good. John Carpenter's The Fog. Um, I mean, this movie's been remade already. Uh, but compared to what I've seen of the remake, which isn't much because I really don't have a desire to see it, uh, it doesn't hold a candle to this original film. Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins... Adriana Barbeau, great actors and actresses. Uh, John Carpenter directed it. How could it be bad? It's a great movie. Check it out. Children of the Living Dead. This movie is, again, not one of the better zombie films that I've ever seen. Uh, Tom Savini is in it. Uh, I think he did some stunt coordination. I'm pretty sure he didn't... uh, do a lot of the makeup effects if he was involved in them at all uh, and I just noticed that uh, this was produced by John A. Russo who uh, wrote um, the original Night of the Living Dead with George Romero and uh, cinematography by Bill Hensman who uh, was the first zombie in Night of the Living Dead and uh, it's a product of, of love from these people I can tell uh, and they were trying to work on a zombie king character. This is supposed to be a trilogy, but the cold reception of this film had left it to only just be this one film. It's not really super horrible that it's unwatchable, but it's close. Uh, it's enjoyable in some aspects, but overall, I'm going to say if you only, only investigate this film if you're just looking for something different. German zombie film, and this is actually another zombie comedy, uh, Night of the Living Dorks. It's like any teen comedy mixed with uh, a zombie movie, and it's actually pretty good. It's very funny, um, worth checking out for a laugh. It's not something to go in and expect to be scared by. Um, We've got the, and again, I don't know what this is doing in here. But I'll talk about it anyway since I've got it. This is the Dawn of the Dead remake. And uh, I'm going to say it's not bad for a remake. Uh, I've talked about it several times before. Uh, not the classic original Dawn of the Dead, but for a modern take on it, it wasn't bad. Another Japanese zombie film, Versus. And this is actually a very interesting zombie film because it uh, it, it takes place in what's called the Forest of the Dead, which is... A force where the dead people are, uh, if someone dies in that force, they end up coming back to life. And this story actually spans several centuries. And uh, uh, the the current storyline of the film is uh, there's a bunch of Yakuza people and a couple of prisoners. The Yakuza people have a girl hostage and uh, they're freeing a couple of prisoners that have managed to escape from prison. They're trying to help them get away from prison. And uh, it deals with these people double-crossing each other. And it's basically a Yakuza graveyard, which the dead come back to life in. So there's zombies everywhere. They're trying to get through. And it's about good versus evil, essentially. And uh, I'm not going to spoil too much about it because it's definitely worth checking out. Again, uh, a lot of these titles, like uh, Burial Ground, uh, Dr. Butcher MD versus... uh, a lot of these are Media Blasters titles. Uh, there's a couple of Synapse titles in here, which Synapse is great. Unearthed Films. Uh, these are all great film companies that release rare and obscure horror titles. And you know, I'm really glad that companies like that exist. Uh, otherwise, I'd never see these great films. Another Asian zombie film. This is BioZombie. Interesting zombie film. Uh, it takes place in a mall. So it's a lot like Dawn of the Dead. Uh, these are like bio zombies, though. Obviously, the biological zombies. Uh, great gore effects. The characters hilarious. I'm gonna say this is more of a comedy than a horror film, uh, but it does take itself serious from time to time. Uh, very interesting. Very funny Asian zombie film. If you like Asian movies, if you like zombie films. Check it out. It was one of the first Asian zombie films I ever saw, actually. 